Welcome back to Full On Football. Of course, we've got our special guest with us tonight, the Cheshire Cat, John, John Duffy. Uh, look, you've got to smile, don't you? Call me a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I would never call you a pussy. And you guys do not play like pussies. You are playing like wildcats at the moment, and it's we brilliant are. to see. Um, of course, Premier League segment, you do know a lot about this, and it's going to yeah. be quite... Um, I'm going to have a check out the atmosphere in our next segment because you're going to be with someone from your ex club yeah, last week, last year. That's going to be interesting. Of <laughs> course, you were with um, Enfield last year, yes. and they, of course, participated in the Premier League. Premier League, um, renowned for its uh, toughness and uh, lots of goals, uh, goals being scored. A lot of the time in the Premier League, it's not necessarily the team that plays the better football wins. It's the team that wants the ball more that wins. Mm. Uh, and that's and, and same with the State League as well, and, and, and Peter will attest to that when he comes on here. Um, pretty plain football teams in the Premier League sometimes will get kicked off the ball and, and not get the points. So it doesn't surprise me with the results that we've got here um, with some of the games that were played on the weekend. Well, let's have a look at those results for the Premier League for round three of the Divine Homes Premier League, should I mention, because uh, Divine home, Homes do sponsor all three leagues. Uh, and we must remember that. Adelaide Comets went down to Adelaide Cobras. A big loss for the co uh, Comets there. 3 0. Uh, Paul Tacalis coming back into the side. Uh, first game he's had for, I think it's over a year, or I, I think that's what they told me, over a year. So it's good to see him back in getting a brace. And then, of course, Oliver Tatani, uh, their star signing from last year from Campbelltown. Yeah, we're trying to get Ollie at the start of the season. <laughs> Did you? Everyone wants Ollie, I'll yeah. tell you what. I don't know why. That, but that result surprised me. Did it really? Yeah, it did, because Comets, we played them pre-season, and they were the only team that beat us in pre-season. And uh, Barney Smith had them playing fantastically well that day, and they're a physical team too, but they do have some, some good football players, so that result did surprise me. It kind of surprised me, but not really, because Cobras have uh, done a, a quite a bit of heavy recruiting, and uh, they're out for business. They want promotion, no doubt about it. So uh, that was a good win for them. Uh, Croydon, good win for Croydon, 4-3 against Salisbury. Salisbury can't get a trick right at this moment, so uh, they're not looking too well at the moment. Of course, for Croydon, Kosnick, who played for Conrad, who played for yeah, Mobbery. We're trying to get him as well. Oh, look, <laughs> everyone's trying to get everyone. Yeah. Um, and, of course, Pro Loisetis, uh, both of them getting a break which is great. Uh, Shane Pearce scoring a brace for Salisbury and Agars again for Salisbury as well. Cumberland 4, Panthers 1. Cumberland doing very, very well at this stage. Panthers not, not getting a win up yet, no. so uh, not looking too good. Peter Hurd won't be too happy with that. No, and they are one of our sponsors, uh, Panthers, so okay. uh, you've got to get a win in there, guys. Of course, the goal scorers there, McDonald, as he did last week, Smith, Consalva and Varma, and Cook scoring for Panthers. At least they scored a goal this, this week. Pirates and Adelaide Olympic, uh, one all draw. Uh, Totoli scoring for Pirates and Kamara, as he did last week, scored again this week. So uh, well done there for Olympic. White City had a good win, uh, John. 4-2 against Sassi. Uh, Djakovic, Parizos, uh, Buko and uh, Mauro Baron scoring for White City. And uh, Joe Costa and Dario Stacker scoring for Sassi. And then, of course, the catch-up game that we had from last week. Uh, already we've got catch-up games. Sassy took on Salisbury at Steve Jarvis Park on Tuesday night and Sassy big winners there 5-0 against Salisbury. Peroni scoring a hat-trick and McLaughlin scoring a brace. So um, Salisbury not faring too well at this moment, are they? They're not and Neville uh, won't be happy with that start to the season. Again, we played Salisbury in pre-season and they looked like they had uh, a good team out there. I know they've got a few, few injuries at the moment. Uh, Dave Burton's still to come back in, and he's a bit of a rock in the middle of defence for them. He's their captain, isn't he? He is the captain, mm. and I've heard they've lost David Crowell, but I'm not 100% certain on that. So That's what I've he, heard, they've a, lost David Crowell, He'll be a big loss gone. as well. He has gone. He's definitely gone. Well, he'll he's be a big loss. And apart from uh, PFC up front and perhaps Dave Burton at, uh, in defence there, not a lot of experience in that team. Mm. Well, they're going to have to do some hard work to get some points on the board. Let's have a look at the table because it's interesting, this table. Um, starting to sort itself out a little bit, even though the middle of the table, again, it's, one, it's, it's a traffic jam in the middle. We've got Cumberland out on top um, on seven points. Adelaide Olympic on five with White City Woodville. That was a good win for them for White City on five points. Here we go, middle of the table, traffic jam. We've got Sassy on four, Pirates four, Cobras four, Comets four, and Croydon all on four points. So, uh, as usual, it's uh, a combustion, combustion in the middle there. And Panthers on uh, not with yet to score any points, as are Salisbury. Uh, Salisbury yet to score a win or a draw. Now, um, we need to have a look at who they're playing this week because 
you know, if they can't do something this week, it could be uh, the end. It could be, and it's, there's teams in the Super League in the same boat, Galaxy and Modby there. Interested in here that, that uh, Pirates have to play Cobras in a catch-up game too. Mm. Uh, if Pirates or Cobras get up, they'll jump to seven points as well. So yeah, it'll be right. very tight at the top after those It is, and we don't know when that game's going to be uh, played. I got told in June, so well, hopefully it'll be earlier than Might that. Be snowed off in June. <laughs> exactly. Let's look at the fixtures for round four for the Premier League. Um, Again, interesting matches as through all, throughout all three leagues. We've got Panthers at home to Croydon. Big match for Panthers and, well, I hope they can come up with something there. I hope they can and, and Peter was the only person that tipped Raiders against Adelaide City, so oh. I'm going to tip Croydon. You're going to tip? I'm going to tip Croydon, unfortunately, Peter, but... Uh, oh, I'm going to go going for Panthers form. at home. Come on, Panthers, if, if there's any time to win, it's this time now. Salvage your season. And then we've got Sassy... Um, up against Pirates at Pirate Park because yeah. obviously Santos is not uh, free yet due to athletics. Who do you reckon there? That's going to be a very, very good game. Mm. Um, Sassy and Pirates both had a very good start to the season. Pirates are a very hard working physical team as well. I would think perhaps. Uh, I'm going to tip a draw. Can mm. I do that? I'm, I'm going to mm. tip Pirates perhaps in that match at home. So uh, it's not their home match, but they're at home. So. I hope they do. Yeah, Cobras are taking on Cumberland. Now this was registered as uh, Weagle Oval, but it is now being changed to Carnegie Reserve at uh, Royal Park. So that's the um, Western Strikers home ground. That's another good match. Uh, uh, who do you pick there? That's a tough one, isn't it? I mean, both very, very good teams. Mm -hmm. Cumberland have had a, a better start to the season, I think, what a lot of people have predicted as well after the last season. Um, I would think perhaps Cumberland might just get up there. Uh, it's a neutral ground just. for both of them, so It is, I'm surprised. Any idea why it's changed, Vinny? I do not know, no. Okay. Just got to, told that it was changed, yeah. so... Again, it could be another game that's very tight and could be a draw, but I think we'll put, I'll, I'll tip Cumberland. Yeah, Cumberland being the better squad so far, but, uh, you know, Cobras are there to, as I said, there to do some business. We've got Salisbury at home to White City, Woodville. That is a 8pm uh, match at Steve Jarvis Park. I think White City are going to be way too strong for Salisbury here. I think so too, and it's third against bottom mm. this round, it's only round four. Uh, White City I think I've got, uh, they're very fit, I did see them do a fair bit of pre-season training, they're a very fit team, um, they know where the goals, goals are mm. and uh, I, I can see them probably coming out quite comfortable winners here. Exactly, and then, and then on the Sunday as we saw a couple of weeks ago we've got Adelaide Olympic at home to Adelaide Comets at Pirate Park, Sunday 3pm. That is going to be another very, very good game. Uh, Comets will need to bounce back. Adelaide Olympic obviously have had a couple of good results this season. Uh, a very tight game again, hard to pick, but uh, having seen both teams mm. and played against both teams, I was just working on that Comets for me on that one. I'll tip Olympic on that one. It's two Greek teams against each other. It's going to be a uh, watch out referees. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a short break. We're going to be coming back with Peter Wayne from Enfield City Falcons uh, talking all things State League.